when I approach this wall, I have an angle like this. And I find that pretty important. Then I'm just gonna flick. See, so, okay, so there is the line. Back up, target. Now I can like push him. I'm standing like pretty far right now. I can start pushing him this way towards the wall. Because my angle is like this. And I push him kind of. Like that. So I want to be. I want to be. Here. This is where I want to be. But I'm targeting him and doing the backup. Right there. With this angle. So like my front paws pretty much on the black line. Put that angle. So I then back off, jump attack, and I would land. I would land like here. No wait, I would land like there, and I could slide. So I slide from here to here, and then I jump. I always slide when I do sword and shield skip. Um, so I can get the distance I want with this, the, the way I do so I'm just And you want Hugo. This is looking at it from his perspective. Hugo. You want Hugo to land here. Pretty much in the middle. So, and there's the black line. So you want Hugo to look this way. And yeah, pretty much exactly here is where you want him to stand. I guess. I guess like there. This is where Hugo will stand with this angle. Because directly behind Link now is the middle. But you can't even see it. It's so dark on my TV. It's super dark actually. I apologize. But like the line almost in the middle there. Well, the thing is, this area curves into the left. So this is actually the, the middle, and then it curves up here. So this is the correct thing. You can't even see the black line. You can almost not even see the black line. My cash card sucks. Yeah, I took it a long time ago. I don't know, it's like, you want your front paws to almost be on the line, and you want to imagine Link looking like straight ahead in the middle here, so he would land here. And it's hard to see because your camera angle will be like this, so you have to like judge Link's nose, like, is his nose pointing towards here? Or here. So you gotta like kind of make it up in your head like will he land in the middle uh, with this angle and I just look at the black line compared to I guess the paws or his face like this versus versus this it's, so, it's like such a subtle, subtle <laughs> Subtle difference, yeah. but uh, it's something. I'm actually standing a bit too far behind now, so I want to be here. You can see, like, I would jump like there, so I would land here and then jump again, and I would land like here ish. So, Hugo's perspective. He wants to look towards the wall, and his back will be towards the loading zone, with an angle kind of like this. 
then he will f he will like you will jump attack him and he will fall over and he will land like here and then it will jump over this where wolf Link is standing now is like a knocked over hugo so you jump over that and you would end up there or, like almost there a bit further Pushing him is like. I recommend to not. Like. Tap the control stick all the way into the notches. Just, um. I close the minimap too. Just to, like. Have as little HUD open as possible. It makes me focus slightly more. Like, slightly better. But yeah, just like. You can, like, ESS push him. Like this. I like to call this ESS just because of Ocarina time. Just like barely move. You don't need to push him fast, really. But the thing is that Hugo will fight back, which is something that I don't even think I covered in my guide thing. I don't know if Fino didn't cover it either. But Hugo will fight back when you push him, but not always. He's not fighting back now, he's just letting me push him. Let me see if I can get him to fight back. Now he's fighting back. Let's see. He's not fighting back now, so you can easily push him. So yeah, keep that in mind. So if you like, if he's like fighting back, you need to push a lot, and then just like really. Complicated, but it's like oh, you can't even see it as well. My capture card is there, but it's like I kind of like imagine that I use my nose to push him outwards from the wall if he's too close. Like, let's see if I can explain this. Like, now I'll push him kind of towards the wall, and then here. I will like back up and then try to like squeeze my nose like in between the the, the, the wall and you go. So like I face the wall a lot here as you can see like like this to push him outwards. Away from the wall. Until I get him into position that's like this. Aim for anything specific. Um, I aim for like this little space in between the wall and his face when I want to push him outwards. Um, with a spot on the ground. Let's see. Oops. I may actually just get him over here and I'll, I'll mess with him later. Okay. Oh, he has forgotten about me. Oh yeah. It's pretty hard to see, but like, this white spot. Here is the black line. Here is a white spot. Here is also a white spot, but that doesn't matter. It's like, it's like a shade of white here. Here is the black line. This is the black, yeah, the white spot. So it needs to be in between here. And preferably like... What I like to say is that his... Kind of... Upper body should be, or like... The front part of him should be... Slightly over this black line and the, like his legs and like the back... Will be behind. But I don't really think about that white spot. I just want him to be like slightly on the black line, pretty much. So, um, one thing that's pretty important that I didn't cover in the guide is like how to push him out of the wall. Like, you can see like the angle I have now. I'm like facing the wall almost. It's so, like this is the angle I had when I was pushing him towards the wall. And when I want him to go out of the wall, 
get away from the wall. I have an angle like this. You can see like how I'm pushing him outwards now. And I would stop now because he would, I w don't want it to go too far. And then right here, I need to be careful to not push too much towards the the wall here. Because if I do too much, then he will like be way far out, way too far out. And so like I kind of go like a bit like from like directly up on the control stick to directly right. Like I go in between there a lot, very carefully. Like now he's pretty far out of the wall. I don't like this, but it can still work. Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> but yeah. If you saw my angle there when Midna talked to me, my angle was really good. It was like this angle. Which is what you want. I can have to upload this to YouTube if you want to, but it will be a super long video with a lot of talking and it will take me forever to get to the point. But if you're really that interested, then I can do it, sure. I'm just kind of rambling. <laughs> 